Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of StarCraft Inc. It is a good day. <laughs> it most certainly is a good day. Do you know why? A rematch between our Protoss player, Mouse Mana from Poland. What's up? And his opponent, the Purple Terran, on the left side of Taldream Alter ESC Goody. Now, this is awesome because I cast a game between these two players not too long ago. And this is, in fact, a rematch. Um, and it's a different tournament. The last one was between the Gigabyte Cup. And this one is, uh, you know what, I'm not sure. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, a little bit about these players, if you didn't watch the previous cast, Mouse Mana is quite the little fella here. He, one of his most notable things in his playstyle is his patience, okay? I have to say that he's one of the most patient Protoss I've ever seen. Uh, a long time ago, my favorite match between him and anyone else was Mouse Mana and Nama. Nama was the Terran player who was just like godly at Siege Tank Creeps, and that was in Dreamhack of 2010, and Mana was just... Brilliant! He lost, but he was freaking brilliant. Oh my god. And then the last game I cast between him and Goody was phenomenal. And once again, you go see that. I'll put a link in the description, but go see that game because Mana played, once again, the most patient game I've ever seen. And he is see Goody over here. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Just absolutely looks a hell of a lot like Hurley from Lost. If you don't know who Hurley is from Lost, well, go check him out because... The, the two are freaking twins, and it makes me smile. But, uh, anyway, ESC Goody, uh, it, it's funny that he's from ESC because Mouse Mana was also part of ESC at one time. So I guess this is a little bit of a old buddies clan match. I don't know if these guys were on that uh, clan at the same time. I don't know when Goody joined ESC, but uh, interesting to know that these two players were at one point at, on the same team. It's kind of like the whole White Ra, or not White Ra, um... Huck and Idra thing right now. I don't know how those two get along. It's kind of funny that they're on the same team now. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything in this game at all. We are watching a little probe SCV duel. Anyway, there are no gas yet for ESC Goody. Um, so we're not going to see a super fast tech lab, but we do see a bunker going down. Oh, an engineering bay. Okay, I lied to you. It's an engineering bay. He doesn't want a fast expansion from the Protoss player. One uh, note about the engineering bay, it gains health faster than almost any other building, and that's why Terran players tend to use the engineering bay, just in case you guys were curious. And then he'll probably stop before it's finished. Yeah, see that? And then so when his opponent DPSs that down, he'll just hit cancel and get a refund for it. So, that really delays the expansion from the Protoss player. And no kind of early pressure here from Goody, but I'm going to bet it's going to be a fast expand. Judging by the fact that he's building nothing but Marines, there's no gas and there's an SCV in the expansion. So, if you are a Protoss player scouting a Terran, those are all things to look for. If you remember what I said, all Marines, no tech labs, no gas. That's like a heavy... You're either going to get Marine all in or you're going to get... Uh, you know, an expansion, but uh, be ready for both. Why not? There's no reason not to get stalkers if all you see is marines because you can kite the hell out of them and, uh, you know, go from there. Whether you want to tech to those high templar or get the blink, whatever you like, but both good ways to deal with mass marine. Colossus work too, and he's going to take a remote expansion, actually. So, Mouse Mana making it look like he's not getting that expansion up. So, kind of interesting way of dealing with this. Um,. And then he can take this base as an easy third. Hello. So, single bunker here. We're going to take a look at the Terran player for you guys. I know I tend to look at the Protoss a little too much because they're the race I play. They're the race I understand the strongest. Um, but I do have a firm understanding of every other race as well. Um, ESC Goody getting the double gas now. So we are going to see a heavy gas transition. Um, but there's so many barracks. Like, well, I guess there's only two. But... Uh, We'll see whether he goes for add-ons next, or if he goes for a factory next. Um, and that'll say a lot, obviously, about what the playstyle is going to turn into. And more barracks. So we're going to see a heavy bioplay. Probably eventually see that factory and starport for Metavax. And uh, a lot of Terran players will, in fact, get that factory. And then use that factory for scouting, because they no longer require it for production. But, at the same time, when you fly your factory over your opponent's base, that automatically shows them that... Well, he's getting a starport because he's giving up his factory. So, I mean, it's an early warning to any kind of Protoss player not able to get scouting information that they want. 
So yeah, if a factory flies over your base, you know they're going air. That's all I'm saying. And uh, we are just going to see that uh, concussive shell. And from this one, not sure what's going to come out of there yet. Probably stim. Um, but maybe he'll go for the marine shields first. I'm not sure. Stim it is. Stim it is. And so ESC Goody going with that heavy bio play that he likes so much. And a lot of uh, a lot of Terran do favor bio against Protoss. But that being said, bio, you know, a lot of players struggled dealing with bio. And because of that, you know, Terran players continued to go bio, continued to go bio. And eventually Protoss players have really started to figure out how to deal with it. And it comes down to, you know, early gateway um, force fields. Early gateway kind of dog fighting with the force fields, the guardian shields, and upgrades. Then they get those Colossus because Robos are pretty necessitous. Necessus. What the fuck does that mean? Robo bays are pretty necessary to get this early observer to take a look at what's going on inside. And then you see the Colossus come out. And the Colossus is only really to bait Vikings instead of Metavacs. And once those Vikings come out, you use the Colossus until the Vikings have them all dead. And then you do a switch into High Templar. And you use the High Templar until all the Vikings are dead, and then you switch back into Colossus once they start going heavy ghosts. And that seems to be a pretty standard way to play out the PvT game. So we are going to see this little ragtag force of Marine Marauders come over here. There is no expansion in Mana's Natural. And I don't know what uh, Goody thinks about that. I don't know if he's going to go for the third, the, that little remote third, or if he's going to try and attack the main. Um, but he is going to split up here just to take the second tower. And it's funny because there's an observer that's coming over here that's going to see it. This probe's going to take that tower, realize it's that they're coming for him, and hopefully book it out of there. Um, but no, he's just going to send... Look at this! We're going to see a little bit of a split off of these units. If he can get those units for free, that'd be good. But no, there is too much here for uh, Mouse Mana to fight in the open, I feel. He needs a choke. He needs to use his force fields. But I don't know how he plans to play this. There's free marines. He's right in the middle of the army and the force and the reinforcements. This Terran Bioball is going for that Nexus. Not actually going to DPS it down, though. If you saw that, Mana almost walked directly on top of that Bioball, which is a little bit dangerous for him. Um, and this Colossus is in a bad spot, but uh, it does get sniped by Goody. Goody snipes the Colossus. The donut is not enough as those bio units do break free. And without the Colossus, it's going to be really hard for Mana to DPS the remaining units down. There needs to be reinforcements for Mana, and there they are enough to hold. Goody does not manage to take down Mana's expansion, which is bad news for him as a third is sure to follow. Mana does have the resources to do it. Another Colossus joins the fray. Does it have Thermal Lance? I'm not too sure. Thermal Lance has not been or researched at all. Um, so that's interesting. But those force fields are pretty beautiful. Locking away that army so that the uh, the rest of it could pick apart the reinforcements and the chunks that were not sectioned off. So, if that makes sense to you. I worded that kind of funny. But you guys can forgive me, right? <laughs> I'd forgive me. You just, you just can't. I put mirrors all over my house. Just, just for me. Anyway. Moving on. No, I promise I'm really not all that arrogant. But if I was, I would tell everyone. Anyway, so there is another bio ball. Just replace the old one. But the problem is, there's uh, another Colossus. But not as many sentry, granted. And there's no charge on the zealots. So if this army were to push right now, it would actually do quite a bit of damage. Although, another Colossus joins the fray. We are seeing that Thermal Lance started. Now we're seeing weapons. One and armor. One. So those really fast Protoss upgrades are on their way. They're being chronoed as well as Thermal Lance getting that chrono. And uh, there is that third for mana. The third getting ready to go down for Goody as well. Uh, I'm not sure if the actual command center is built yet. No. And there's those Vikings. So... Like I said, we're going to see the Vikings come out in response to the Colossus. Will we see High Templar tech? Um, there's nothing in production in Templar techville. Um, not even at the third, hidden away. So a couple Vikings are going to be scrappy, but realize that there are no medevacs in this composition, which is interesting as well. However, those Marauders will DPS the Colossus down so fast if they get in range. And without Sentry, there's only one Sentry, and it'll be used for Guardian Shield. You know it will be. And they are going for the remote expansion, which the problem is this army is going... Oh, shit. Caught out of position. And 
I don't know how this is going to go down. There's a lot of zealots in this composition. It feels like the bio ball can't really get through them. The Stalkers manage to DPS down the Vikings, and a Colossus goes down. That's not how Mana wants it to do, but there's a proxy pylon at the... Oh my god, at the Watchtower, warping in a wave of Zealots while they were trying to DPS down the previous ones. A couple Vikings get in the fray, rallied that way, and a Marauder gets a free Stalker kill. Vikings retreat to safety, and more Vikings. There's just too many Vikings for the Colossus production that exists. And I re here we go, we're seeing that Twilight Council. We're going to see some charge, we're going to see some blink, we're going to see some Templar tech. Hopefully that is the right direction to go, as there's no way he can produce Colossus fast enough to keep up with the Viking count that is being produced. And once the Bio Ball is accompanied by a large number of Vikings, the DPS from that Colossus count will no longer exist, and the Gateway Army cannot compete with the the units on the ground. He needs the splash from the Colossus and the range to deal damage while the units are kiting the Zealots. Otherwise, you're not exchanging damage, you're just losing Zealots. So, on the Terran side of things, uh, you need to kind of keep up with that, uh, that tech switch that you know is going to happen. Once you start to get a lot of Vikings, they're going to stop producing Colossus and then Although, it looks like mana is being pretty stubborn. It's kind of a mind game. You really need to keep on top of the scout. But here we have SCVs being brought in with this. There are force fields in the mix this time, which wasn't an uh, wasn't a factor in the last engagement. Also, medevacs in the Terran army. So, both players' macro are starting to kick in. And there's no third yet for uh, Goody. Goody is still playing off two bases, which is not a healthy thing for him. The Stalkers are far enough back that they will be able to pick off the Vikings, but the Vikings do manage to get one Colossus. Thermal Lance is being used effectively as those force fields were key, and they will keep the Bio Ball back while the Colossus cuts them apart. This pylon, where'd it go? The pylon seems to be missing now. Um, is going to be a big deal. There's a warp in location right there. Wow, those Marauders actually get through despite those beautiful force fields and the great use of Thermal Lance and the loss of the Vikings. I'm impressed that ESC Goody did as much damage as he did. However, he is very far behind as another base goes up for mana, and it's this one here. And as soon as he's uh, mined out at the main, I imagine he'll do his big transfer over here. Um, and there we go and another engagement right away before the Colossus count has time to climb once again. There's so too many Stalkers in this mix for uh, for mana. I feel like the Marauder count is just too high to have this high of a Stalker balance. There's the High Templars! There is feedback for the Medivacs and there we're going to see him fall behind but there's not much energy on the Medivacs to begin with. That Templar goes down for free. It looks like ESC Goody could break this position we need more Colossus from Mana, and there's one now. And a big warp in of Zealots makes this an unfavorable position for Goody. He needs to get out of there as it looks like Mana is on the defender's advantage. Plus his macro is really starting to kick in. Charge is done for the Zealots, and they get in there right away. Goody is kind of spending a lot of resources here trying to take down that Colossus, and he doesn't even get it! Finally getting it with the remaining ragtag forces that he has. He needs to pull out with his... Oh, there's the reinforcing zealots. ESC Goody knows he's behind in this game. Goes to mana. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this game. ESC Goody won the first game that I cast earlier. And Mouse Mana taking this game as revenge. So guys, tell me what you think of the game in the comments below. Subscribe and check out our Facebook page. That'd be awesome for me. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.